hello everyone welcome to my channel and in this video i will show you how to deploy application into azure kubernetes now before we proceed let's first understand the sample application so this is a perfect sample application having a multi-container application and it is a distributed application uh, running across the multiple container now let's understand the architecture diagram of this application so here we are having a six containers first one is a, a voting app it is a front-end web app built in a python and which will gi which give you the option uh, two option uh, after that uh, there is a redis database which uh, which is collecting a data from this voting app here we are using the dotnet worker which consume the vote and store into the PostgreDB, and uh, we are using this Node.js, which is Node.js Node is a web app which is show the result uh, uh, about your vote. Now, here we are we are using a multiple uh, you can say languages to build this entire architecture. So here we are using a Python Node.js for storing the data PostgreDB. Uh, you, we are using a .NET for uh, uh, getting fetching the data from Redis DB. So it is a perfect example. Now, uh, what I will do here first, I will deploy this entire application into my Docker desktop, and I will show you how the application looks like. And after that, we are going to deploy it into the Azure Kubernetes. So for that, uh, I have downloaded this entire code into my local machine. So quickly, I will show you. So this is a uh, entire application I have downloaded, and I'm going to deploy it into the Docker desktop. So for that, let me copy the code. Docker compose up. Open the terminal and paste it. so it will create the containers okay great now quickly open the docker desktop and we can see here okay so all the container are deployed let's quickly check okay so this is a voting page where we you have a two option either you like a cat or dog and this is a result page where you will give a live result so currently the dogs 100 percent let me change cat and here you can see cat 50 percent dog 50 percent let me change it to dog dog 100 percent so it's just a simple application okay now I hope you understand this application. Now we are going to deploy this application into the Azure Kubernetes. So in the last video, we have created one Kubernetes cluster, AKS demo. And uh, you know that how to create it. So in, inside this AKS demo, if we, I, we, I'm using a lens to vi just visualize the entire cluster. So if you can see here, the pod, so there is right now there is no application deployed inside this Kubernetes. So now we are going to deploy it. So for that, let me again copy the command. So so the command is kubectl create minus f and the folder name. So here what? I did I copy all the YAML file into this demo application okay and you will get this YAML file inside this folder k8 specification so inside this folder we have all the YAML file so now I am going to use this YAML file and create a application inside the Azure Kubernetes. So if you see here, so this YAML file contain 
let's quickly check so for the first one is a uh, vote application so here you can see vote deployment.yaml okay and here we are going to create a container name is vote and it is taking uh, the image from docker sample example vote.app okay uh, the second one is a redis so redis deployment so redis deployment so again the same we are taking the image directly from the redis uh, postgre db while well, here so we are directly taking the image from the postgre we are using the 15 uh, version of the postgre and the node.js so where is it where is it yes the result service dot deployment so we are taking the image from the docker samples okay and the worker node we are taking from again the docker sample now how to create this uh, yaml file and what is a deployment what that we are going to discuss in the next video where we are going to give i am going to give the complete detail about the kubernetes objectives but right now we are just deploying the application so i will show you how you can deploy the application into the azure kubernetes so we are going to use this yaml file so in the real time scenario developer are doing the coding and they push the code into the git repository once once they the code into the git repository the build cycle or maybe using the build pipeline we are going to create the image and we are going to store into the container registry here the container registry will be any uh, for you can use a github docker container registry or azure container registry so it's totally up to you and after that once we have a image inside the container registry we are go we are going to use this image and deploy it into the kubernetes now this image right now uh, right now this image uh, for the sample application it is available in the docker sample registry okay now let's use this container registry and we are going to deploy the application into the kubernetes so as we as i said the all the yaml file i have copied into the demo application folder and now i am going to use this yaml file to deploy my application so for that kube kubectl create and the folder name demo application now it will use this yaml file and create the application now here there is some error so let me first uh, clean all the kubernetes existing kubernetes object okay now let me again create the applications yeah so now you can see our application is deployed successfully so let's quickly check open the lens and here you can see there are six containers so as per the architecture there are sorry as per the architecture there are five container first one is a vote container so let me quickly open the application so here you can see so now this vote application deployed into the kubernetes so here we have two option cat and dog and there is a result container is there so let me quickly open it okay now you can see dog cat so here cat 100 percent let me remove this oh it's let me reload <coughs> Okay, cat cat so now this simple application is deployed into the kubernetes now here just for your reference these all are the kubernetes objects so pod deployment daemon set stateful set and replica set that 
all the Kubernetes object objects I will explain in the next video as well as if you see here so when we deploy the application in the background it is creating the services now what is the use of service we can use the service to expose our application outside the kubernetes okay so there are three types of service cluster ip node port and load balancing the services also we are going to i am going to explain into the into the next video so i hope you like this video see you in the next video